for your own safety, do not rock the gondola. I come from a pretty musical family. Like my dad was in a um, sort of reggae lovers rock, like UK British band, and um, he was in it quite young, from around like 18. And it's sort of a family band. Growing up, I was always kind of surrounded by different kinds of music, and I think that's why one of my reasons, like my music tastes, quite eclectic now. I've always loved music, but I was never really into making it. Yeah. Um, it was only when I got to like, I don't know. 13, I think, that's when I started, well, 13, 14, when I started like putting like loops together and stuff. And then we moved on to like three years and started producing properly. What you talking about? Uh, we met through a mutual friend that's also Jamal's <coughs> cousin, and it was her like birthday, like dinner, and um, we just met over that, just started talking about mu uh, music realised he had like um, similar tastes in music as well mm. and from there we just decided to like collaborate together on one track and from there we just finally like clicked and we worked and enjoyed working with each other. So. <laughs> the night that we very very first played that called Sniff. <laughs> That yeah. was like the very first night that we DJ'd. Yeah, first to be Yeah. Uh, was it good or did it crash or We didn't get to play because the police came and shut it down. But yeah, it was like, it was um, a 300 cap or something like that um, mm. venue and like, and like 700 or 800 people ended up turning up. Yeah. And no one expected that many people to come and then it was just yeah. like, oh. Someone like smashed the window trying to get it. Yeah. Like, like zombie hordes style, like people started, through windows. People started getting like, crazy. <laughs> I heard um, Bugging by Tonight. That was like the very first tune. That's the reason why they're kind of like in the same vein kind of thing. That's when I kind of found, that's when I started finding out about that kind of sound anyway. The, with that original Don and Trap on Acid and all those kind of tunes. We didn't have that kind of like big kind of style of music in the UK. But then when I heard like, as I said, like the Bugging kind of style of Trap, I was like, yo, like, that's what I want to make. Sticky started in um, 2011 and our first creative output were, um, was on the fashion side of things, so jewellery mixed with like screen printed t-shirts. <coughs> it kind of made sense to like explore that from a musical sense as well and that's how like Sticky Sound was born. Yeah, America always responds well when we play there so we, we, love, we love going over there. Obviously they understand like the style of music that we, we make a, a, a bit better because it's much more closer to you know like the trap sound that's already at. Um, but it's kind of like at the same time because we have that kind of UK twist to it. They're like excited to kind of see something different. Yo, Puff Australia, what is going on tonight? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Who the fuck is ready to turn up tonight? Yo, you. Let's get this shit started right now. The sticky elements are sound, vision and play. So when me and Jamal met up, we started to expand on, um, on the sound element and create sticky sound together. I think as a style of music, it's got a lot of energy in yeah. it. And like people want to go out and party and like turn up and like have a good time. And that music just has, has it. I think that's definitely the word, it's the energy. Yeah. There's not many like genres that have that kind of and it, that, that specific yes. kind of it is. I'm kind of going to focus more on our like independent uh, pieces because we've just done a collaboration well with Selfridges, so now it's more about um, yeah our independent items are available on our website. Okay. There's sticky sound merchandise. Um, as well, we did one run with the US tour, and now we're looking into uh, to bringing out a second one sometime soon. One stage, two men. We are Stucky Sound. <laughs> this summer in Perth. <laughs>